Hi, it's Jeff Challen here. So this is the last step in your sort of workflow that you'll use when you are working on the MPs and potentially on some of the labs. So you've acquired the project, you've added your email address to email.txt, you started working, you've been running the auto grader, and you've earned some points. So that's great. And you want to make sure that you get credit for your work. Everything you've been doing up till now has been all done locally. So we don't actually have a copy of your code. And in order for you to receive official credit on the assignment, we need to fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you do something called a push. And the way that we've set up the grader for this class is that pushes will trigger automatic grading that happens on our server using uh, pieces of code that we trust that produces an official score for your MP. Now, you can submit your work as often as you want. Um, if you submit before the deadline, you won't be subject to penalties. If you submit after the deadline, you'll be subject to whatever the regrade policy is for that particular MP. But you can work um, whenever you want to, and you can submit as many times as you want. You will always receive your best submission for the MP. So it's always a great idea to start early, submit often, and you should know exactly what grade you're going to receive. The local auto grader that you run. So let me walk through this process. So I'm going to go ahead into the run menu uh, and I'm going to open up the local auto grader. The local auto grader is, you know, roughly the same thing that we're going to run when we run it during official grading, but it runs on your machine. Your machine might be faster or slower than the servers that we use. And so this grade is always only an estimate. So this says I got 10 points on the MP. I don't really, that's a nice uh, way of helping me track my progress, but don't believe anything until it actually runs on the server, um, until you see your official score. So how do you access your grades? So let's go to the course website and there's this nice grades tab here. So I'm gonna navigate over here. I have to sign in. Uh, hopefully we'll make this look a little bit less ugly at some point. And at this point, I have no graded MP commits. I haven't um, committed, I haven't submitted anything. So how do I actually submit my work? Well, what we've done is we've tied the submission process into pushing your code to your GitHub repository. So when you commit your work, your uh, work is only saved locally. So let me go over to that GitHub repository that I just created a, a minute ago. And if I uh, browse over to email.txt, I can see that it's empty. But my own copy of email.txt, which is right here, has my email address in it. And if I go to the commit tab, I'm going to see that there's no changes. So why does GitHub have an empty file and I have content? I have my email address here. The reason is I haven't pushed my code. So when you're using Git, the process of sharing your work with others involves two steps. The first is committing your work locally, and then the second step is called pushing. So it's generating a push. The push is going to transmit my changes to GitHub. At that point, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to see uh, the changes that I've made on github.com when I browse the repository that I'm working on locally, and it's also gonna set off grading. So let's watch the grading process first. Okay, so I've, I'm gonna run my local auto grader one more time. I think I've earned 10 points on the assignment, but let me be really sure. Okay. So before I push, I need to make sure that I've committed everything. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna hit commit, and I'm gonna see that there's no changes. So this is good. If there were changes, I'd wanna commit. And when you actually commit, there's an option to both commit and push at the same time, which you're welcome to use if you'd like. Um, if you haven't done that, I can always go over here to VCS, and now I have to get into the Git menu. Down here, I can see there's an option to push. So let's do that. This brings up a little bit of a menu here. Um, it's showing you what's actually going to change. Um, so I'm pushing changes to email.txt and the changes I made to lcm.java. These are precisely the changes that I would find are missing on github.com if I browse my repository. And I can see in this case that email.txt is in fact empty. Okay, so I'm gonna hit push. Um, you can, uh, this is the latest commit you can see that's uh, being transmitted. Okay, so I'm gonna hit push. And now let's go over to the grading tab. So what's happening is your information is being um, transmitted over to uh, github.com. 
and there's um, one commit currently being graded. Once that grading completes, this process takes a few minutes, and now I can see uh, what your score is. So your best score on MP0 is 10. That's uh, the same thing that you submitted locally. And if you scroll down here, you can actually browse a little bit of the output that was produced during the grading process that ran on the server. Hopefully this looks pretty similar um, to what you would see locally. So this is the process of submitting your work um, in order to have it graded on the server. Now you'll see, because I've pushed to my repository, if I reload this page, I can see that GitHub now has the changes that I've made to my repository. So GitHub now has um, an email, my email address in email.txt, and it has the other changes I made as well. So hopefully this helps you get a sense of exactly the process that you need to go through to acquire the repository, make your changes, run the auto grader, commit locally, and then push your changes when you're ready to save them to GitHub and also to initiate remote auto grading.